The first ever informal summit between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chinese President Xi Jinping is taking place in Wuhan on April 27th and 28th. Now, there is no formal agenda between these two leaders and government officials are deliberately keeping expectations low. So what is special about this informal summit? Why is the Modi-Xi meeting so important? Perhaps the most important reason is because of the several outstanding issues between India and China that continue to bedevil the relationship. In August 2014, soon after Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to power, he invited the Chinese president to India. But at the exact same time, news of Chinese troops intruding across the line of actual control in Chumar area in Ladakh, in Jammu and Kashmir, filtered into New Delhi exactly at the same time as Prime Minister Modi and Xi Jinping were fating each other on the banks of the Sabarmati River in Ahmedabad. Since then, the relationship has only become worse. In 2016, China blocked moves at the UN seeking to sanction the Pakistani-based terrorist Masood Azhar, who had been handed back to Pakistan. Also in 2016, Chinese President Xi Jinping personally turned down Prime Minister Narendra Modi's request to allow India as a full member of the nuclear suppliers group. And in 2017, China insisted on using a highway across Pakistan-occupied Kashmir as an anchor to President Xi's pet project, the Belt and Road Initiative. India saw red. And then in the summer of 2017, Chinese troops moved across the disputed Doklam Plateau in Bhutan, and Indian troops moved in, preventing them from coming much closer to Indian territory. This was just eight months ago. In this time frame, India has been agitated about China's expanding influence into South Asian nations like the Maldives and Nepal. In the Maldives, President Yamin has given several concessions to Beijing, despite his stated India first policy. And in Nepal, Prime Minister K. P. Oli has said that Nepal must balance its relationship between both India and China, much of course to Delhi's annoyance. China has also not taken any initiatives in opening up its economy with India, which means that the bilateral trade basket amounting to over $70 billion is heavily skewed in China's favor. But since the handshake that marked the end of the Doklam confrontation, Delhi has made a special effort to reach out to Beijing. It is this reset in ties that is now at the front and center of the relationship between India and China, and this is what both its leaders are expected to talk about in Wuhan. As the Chinese President and Prime Minister Modi stroll on the banks of the Yangtze River and President Xi shows the Prime Minister Chairman Mao's sprawling villa, the question is, are the good old days of Hindi Chini Bhai Bhai going to return in 2018?